What is going on my guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Garrett with Game by the Beach. We are continuing continuing our trophy push up the ladder and trying to get to that 7,000 trophies and I think we may be able to do it today. We need to push about 50 trophies if I'm not mistaken, which is a little bit aggressive, but uh, but hey, if it's a little bit longer of a video, so what? You guys usually like that anyway. Oh man, I didn't get that switch. I thought I had time to make it a Harlequin, or make it another summoner, and then also get the switch, but I didn't, but that's okay. We still got a summoner on the map, so not too shabby. I've been playing around a little bit with different decks and some of the new cards, and they're actually really fun to play with. Um, the Executioner is really cool. It's got the instant kill type thing that the Hex has, except it instant kills them after half health. And then it's got a couple other a couple other ones are cool. I, I've been running with Crystal Mancer. That's just uh, just because I got a buff. Let's see. Yeah, it's, he's coming down. Okay, we got a switch there. We should be good. He's got a three, a two, and a one. Boreas. Um, I've got a three, a one, a one, and a one. So, but uh, as you can see, he's pretty much running the same deck as me. He's just got Vampire in there, which is a really common. Oh, did I make the switch? Yes. Let's do this. We got another rank three. That's great. Let's just make a couple of these. Another one. I haven't even looked at the Gorgon. We got a Gorgon in... Uh, it doesn't do anything for me. A Gorgon in 15 seconds. Our board looks okay. I'm actually going to wait just to have my board fill up a little bit more, just in case it like freezes my two rank threes which would be not cool at all. Um, but I think we're going to be okay. He's still coming down. I guess I'll shoot one. Okay, we actually got three rank threes, and those are the only Boreases we have. So a little bit scary. It didn't freeze any of our Boreases, so that's good. And, uh, and so far, so good. We're going to be chugging away, trying to get a little bit further. What else have I, have I played with? I, I haven't shown you guys all the cards that I have um, from the new update. I have the Portal portal i don't even know what it's called the portal something that like sends the troops back so what i found with that one is that it's really useful against bosses not so useful against waves because it it individually sends troops back to the beginning of the of the map which originally i thought it was going to be completely random kind of like um just like dependent on where it was going to send the troops, but it's not completely random. It sends them always back to the beginning, so that's really nice. But like I said, it's individual rather than um, like a splash amount that sends them back, so eh. Still don't have either of the other two legendaries, but that's kind of uh, what we assumed. Anyway, he's already got his Boreas to max, so let's get ours to max too, just so he has no advantages. Um, and then we're going to take on the Puppeteer as soon as we can. So we got ours to max. We want to kill the Puppeteer as quick as possible so he doesn't rank down our units. But I feel pretty confident he's spamming out Boreas is at rank 1, which doesn't bother me at all. And, uh, and I like where we're at. Okay, that could have been a Shaman, but he took it away. So we got 13 seconds. He's holding on for dear life. Um, I'm just going to keep the pressure on, I guess. I hit his rank 3, which was awesome. We got a Mime and a Harley Quinn. We got three seconds. Hit, 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 and that is a victory. He's at 6,000 trophies. You can see we're at 69, 58, and that is a victory, getting us closer to 7,000 trophies. It's been such a long road. So many trophy pushing videos. We are now 30 away, so it's a little bit aggressive to start this video so far away. And, and like I said, every single time I win right now, it's a new trophy high. So... It's always, it's always a battle. So right now we're going up against the exact same deck. Um, so let's do this. Let's try and dig for a Boreas here. He's got some shamans. He's hitting me right there. That was actually really good for him. I could have fired out, but uh, I was wanting to wait and see if I could get a Boreas that I could actually turn the Harley Quinn into another Boreas. But we're actually bricking right now. We got to take this guy out, and we need a Boreas. Yes, we got a Boreas. That's so clutch. So we should be okay. He's probably going to get one too, yeah. 
So now we should both be alive and uh, and doing fine. But I'm glad we didn't brick in the very beginning. That would have been super frustrating um, if they if we bricked right in the beginning and then uh, <laughs> right after we got a dub. So I'm glad that that's not the case. We got another rank two right there, which is great. We got a two a two and a one just like him. So just because we have the same amount, let's level up our Boreas just to get a little bit more pressure on him. And we'll keep on spamming him pretty good here. Rank 4 Shaman. He's hitting me. We got Now I've got a rank 2 and he's only got a rank 1. I just got one back, which is great. We got Tribunal in 40 seconds. He just leveled his up to level 3. His Boreas, that is. Not a bad play. I just took away. Wow, that was huge right there. That was absolutely huge. He's hitting me with the Laffy Face. You guys know I don't like to emote. And he disconnected. Wow, that was crazy. He's up at 67-27. That is a victory. And we got 29 trophies for that. Oh my goodness. Is this the end of the video? We got to 7,000 trophies right there. Wow, that was the quickest climb I have ever done. But we finally made it to 7,000 trophies. So you know what, guys? Good. I'm so glad we made it to 7,000 trophies. Let's show off what some of these other cards are and and we'll just go through th through some of these other cards so um i'll show you what i got here we've got the executioner which is really really cool like i said he takes out he instant kills troops um after half health we've got what the heck is this guy called the portal mage oh i thought what's the other one portal keeper portal master i don't know actually kind of useful i guess i can just like throw in a uh a co-op game but that would make this video go wicked long so you know what let's just do that without wasting a bunch of time let's jump in with and eh, i don't want to do that one let's see um <laughs> i didn't expect this video to go so quickly um let's just throw in dryad here where's my dryad oh there it is <laughs> you guys are probably screaming at me it's right there so let's jump into a co-op game and see just see these these units in action. So I have two of the un just just the two new units, but the Crystal Mancer I think got a, I mean I know it got a buff, so I'm trying it out and seeing seeing what's up, and it's and it's been a lot of fun. But wow, we already got to seven thousand trophies. That was so quick and so good. And uh, you know what? It's actually a perfect time to to mention this right right now. Is uh, some of you guys have asked me why I don't merge out my units when the Shaman comes down. So. Perfect example for why I do not. Uh, right there that we just played against this guy. He had two rank one uh, Boreas's on his map. My Shaman came down to steal one away, and he merged them out. So he had time to merge them out, which is great. But what happened? He merged them out. He got a Harlequin at rank two, and then he had no other Boreas's, so then he was just done. So... Oh, I also haven't showed you the, the emotes. I got that one and I got this one. If you guys don't have the emotes yet, um, check out my Discord. I have the the uh, codes, the promo codes right in the Discord link. Um, so you can check those out and play with them. And they're pretty fun. And I hope to get some more. But yeah, so that's why I didn't merge. If if I were him and, I, and he was going to come down and steal one of my Boris's, there's no way I would have merged out just because... I'd much rather have a rank 1 Boreas left on my map than risk it for possibly a rank 2. No chance I would merge that out. But that's exactly why. So let's try and see this guy in action. Obviously this deck is very strange, but I think I can run something similar to this. I think Crystal Mancer is going to be really good in a lot of decks because it can do um, damage over time. It's good against bosses. It's also what's uh, the Portal Keeper, Portal heck is it called i keep forgetting portal mage is uh, is really good against bosses too but the executioner man this this guy could be in pretty much any deck and i think you're gonna run it as if it is um as if it is like a chemist or like a bombardier or something like that and what i mean by that is that i don't think you need a bunch of them on a, on the map at a time i think you just need like one at a high rank because it seems that every time it gets to half health the monster gets to half health it'll instant kill it. So I don't think a bunch of them are going to do anything. It's kind of like a vampire. The more vampires you have, it's not actually going to help you um, get more mana, just like this isn't going to help you get more 
instant kills because it still has to wait for them to get to half health and most of the time the monsters that are going to get to half health are the ones in the beginning unless you have like a ton of area damage i suppose um but i think that's how you're 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 going to try and run it is basically if you're running say boreas hex you get a bunch of boreases you got hexes in places and then you have um executioner one executioner maybe two executioners at a high rank somewhere in the board and that's probably all you need but, uh, but let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think is the best card, your favorite card right now to play with that is new. I'm totally curious. I don't really know what the new meta is. I'm looking forward to the new season. It's coming up really soon. But so far, so good. He's got the Demonologist. And if you guys didn't know, the Demonologist got a, got a buff to where it now... Um, gives you mana. I, I mean, I talked about this in my video, but I don't know how many people watched the update video. Um, gives you mana when you kill it, so or when the opponent kills it, rather, which is really, really good. So I think that's totally worth it, to be perfectly honest. I, I always like the Demonologist card, and I think it's going to be a lot better now. So it'll be interesting to see if that actually comes into the meta or not. But let's just start leveling up. Oh, actually, I let, let's wait. I want to get my Portal Keeper. I, I haven't figured out Portal Keeper if it's if it's worthwhile having a bunch of them or not. I think at the moment it is worth having a bunch of them because um, since it only targets one unit, if you have multiple, maybe it'll target a bunch of them at a time. It'll kind of like roll like a hex. Um, but I, I but I definitely got to figure that out a little bit more. And these are the first times. This is the first time playing with these cards. I got both of these cards this morning. Um, in the the portal keeper actually i got the executioner executioner yesterday but this is the first time running this deck and uh and it's definitely been a lot of fun so the deck i'm running right now is just a little crazy but uh it's just it's just for fun and since it's co-op whatever i'm playing with my man steve one 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 i don't know if that was the right number of ones but it was probably close and uh and so far so good but it's actually really really cool to see the the portal guy take the boss and send him back. So I hope we get a chance to see that once we go up against Bedlam. We got a couple of them now, um, which is really great. Let's just do this. I'll get another one on the map. Now we have a bunch of portal guys. Let's see if they, and I actually, you know, one of my favorite things about the portal guys is the sound that it makes. It's just a good sound. It's like a little whoop, like takes it away. Uh, you'll, you'll probably hear it at some point, but you can see the blue. We're actually teleporting like a decent amount back. But it's probably a, this is probably a strange deck to run it in because they're getting instant killed and trying to send back. So most often when it hits or when it sends back a unit, the portal guy, it'll be at the tail end of its life because it's had more time to to like vamp up or whatever. So oh, I didn't mean to. Do, okay, nothing happened. But let's just get some of these here. I guess I'll level up some of the crystal mancers. I'll get another one of the Crystal Mancers on the board because those are my primary damage right now. This this deck, I guess, is just kind of built for um, built for bosses, taking out bosses more or less, and then the executioners in there to try and save my booty for <laughs> against w regular waves. Uh, but it's fun to play, and you saw that. I mean, you, it's not a real deck. You saw that I had Banner in there originally, and that's simply because I have. Uh, because I had a challenge that said play with the banner two times. I mean, I think that's the only time anyone would ever play with banner. I mean, I think it did get a buff, but it stinks, let's be honest. But here we go, wave 20. Look at, see, you can see it teleport back. Gorgon's a great one against Crystal Mancer because there's no reason for it to pause. So you can see it's starting to speed up a little bit. S sent it back. I don't know if the, the portal resets the... Um, the crystal mancers like ramp up but look at how interesting that like interaction was with all three cards the crystal mancers ramping up doing increased damage over time the portal keeper portal guy is sending them back you know periodically and then right when it got down to like 30k health the executioner took it out like it was just a, a lot of very interesting interactions um between these three cards that are, are pretty new or at least new newly worked so i think it's really cool to see and and just kind of understand how these different cards work and i think the executioner i think it's it's gonna find its place in the meta i'm gonna be be honest i mean the portal guy honestly is decent too it i i have it has like stasis vibes to it almost but it's definitely better so it's better than stasis because it's not completely random 
and it's sending people back. But like I've said a, a bunch of times now, I'll just keep repeating myself, in waves it does almost nothing. During the waves, the portal guy does absolutely nothing, but against bosses, it's actually like massive. It's absolutely massive. So you'll see when we go up against Bedlam. Uh, and w one thing that's nice about this deck is I can just kind of hang out and uh, if I level anybody up, it's going to be useful. So I just can combine everybody out and everything's doing damage or everything's going to turn into something that's useful. So that's always good. Uh, but you'll see against Bedlam, I played with this earlier against Bedlam and it was just so useful because it kept sending both of ours back to the beginning of the map and it took us... It took us like a long time to take it out, so I don't know how good the Crystal Mancer actually is or how good the buff actually is. I think it's better, but maybe not super useful. Right here, we're trying to have a hard time. Come on, I'm trying to get to the Bedlam to show it off. No, 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 come on. Portal Keeper. Yeah, see, that was so useful. The Portal Keeper right there was so, so useful. Let's start combining out some of our units. He's got the demono Demonologist spamming right there. Um, I guess I'll do Portal Keepers again. Let's do Executioners. I'll do... Hmm, I'll just do, uh, do this for right now. Like I said, my, uh... My Crystal Mancer is my main damage right now, so... I'm definitely gonna have, have to have a bunch of them on the board. I mean, our board looks pretty good. It's got, I mean, that's a, that's a pretty looking board. It's just got the three troops that I'm trying to show off, all of them at like different ranks and uh, all doing their, their respective different skills, which is pretty cool. So as long as we can make it to wave 30, I'll be happy. Obviously not the new best strategy in co-op. Um, if, you, if you want the new best strategy in co-op, you gotta check out one of my old videos, but still really fun to play. So let's see what we can do against wave 30. But we're up, we're still at wave twenty. I'm getting too far ahead of myself. I'm too. I'm, I'm just excited that we're at. We, we hit seven thousand, and I can't believe how easy it was. And now I I promise I'm done with the trophy pushing for right now. At least until after the season, obviously. So now let's try and start having some fun. Let's play with some different decks, different strategies, do different things. And uh, and this is what I really enjoy. So next next season, hey, we're trying to push to seventy five hundred or eight k. So. We'll, we'll see what we can do. It's probably going to be harder and harder every season to get up. It's probably not going to be easier. And I think we're still going to reset at 4,000 trophies. I haven't heard anything about um, resetting somewhere different or resetting to like 4,500 or 5,000 if you hit 7,000. So let's see. Okay, so here we go. Going up against Bedlam. He's got the duck. And um, let's see the portal keepers in action. So we, let's just make a couple of... I'll make a couple more portal keepers do this and this uh oh he sent demonologists which is not always the best idea but you can see we're sending them back guys it's so massive it's so massive that we're sending them back oh we don't have any portal keepers where's our portal keepers okay but the executioner took it out right there let's get our portal keeper up we got a ton of mana right there because my de my boy the demonologist is doing work, uh, and it really does get you a lot of mana in co-op demonologist. So let's okay. I uh, I gotta start leveling some people up here. Oh, we gotta do this. Okay, I think this is gonna be it, but that's probably a good thing because I didn't want this video to go for super long. But that is the, the that is it. That is it right there. That's showing off these new cards. They're really really cool. But the coolest part of this video is hitting seven k. I'm super excited. Uh, but that's going to be the end of this YouTube video, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will check you guys out in tomorrow's video.